Josh, you were born in Dallas, Texas. So did that make it a bit more special for you? It, back there now? it totally does. I mean, not not that it's more special than anyone else's experience on the show, but for me, it was very. Um, it, it, I mean, it's. I, it's just it's very surreal for me, and, and it means a lot. You know, going back home and shooting Dallas and Dallas is uh, it's a big deal. So I feel very very lucky. How familiar were you both with the show beforehand? I was super familiar with, um, you know, like the Who Shot JR slogan, and I, I knew about Bobby in the shower, and I knew about Sue Ellen, so I knew sort of its iconic status in, in the culture. Um, and I think you can't grow up in the U.S. and not, not be aware of Dallas. It was so huge. But I hadn't actually seen the episodes until we started shooting the series. What is the relationship like at the moment between yourself and your cousin, Christopher? Uh, you know, it's rocky. It's um, they... They're family, but at the end of the day, they're, they're at this point in their lives where they're both really trying to, um, I guess, make their presence known in the Ewing family and, and also make their fathers proud. And uh, we both kind of are heading in two different directions. He believes that, you know, new green energy is the way to go, and I, I want to be old school and, and, and do the oil thing. So we definitely are butting heads with that, and um, there's, a, there's a whole power kind of struggle, I think, between us. So it, it, it gets intense. And also with the love triangle involving Elena, how is that at the moment? How are all three, the relationship between all three? I can't reveal how the relationship is at on season, t uh, uh, episode 10, but it starts off pretty tenuous because, you know, I did want to be with Christopher. He's now married to someone else. I'm with John Ross, but Christopher is still sort of shaken up and doesn't, re doesn't really know who he wants. So it's, it's really fun drama to watch unfold. Elena is back in South Fork with a name to get into the business. So what can we expect from her? I think she's very, very driven, and I think because she grew up poor and unlike the Ewings, she didn't, you know, she wasn't given what she has. So she desperately wants to prove herself, and I think she'll get more and more ambitious as the as the uh, seasons go. And John Ross's relationship with his parents, Sue Ellen and Jr. What's that like? Uh, it's 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 not, you know, the best. Um, he he didn't have the best upbringing when it comes to a good mother or father, uh, and he has issues with that, and that that really kind of he struggles with it. Um, <clears throat> and I think he has a, a level of resentment to, towards both of them, but he also is still very, very passionate about succeeding. So it, uh, it, it, it definitely, it's, it's an ongoing battle for him. What do you prefer, prefer most about playing your character? Um, I just, I, I, I have so much fun playing John Ross. I mean, he, he's such a loose cannon. You never know what he's going to do. I love playing an unpredictable character. Uh, he's nothing like me in real life, so I like to go to work and, and get to kind of live and be consumed by John Ross. It's 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 the most fun I've ever had, so uh, I feel very lucky. And with Elena, what's the favorite part about playing Elena? I think being in the middle of a love triangle with two really hot guys has been really, really fun, and that's been season um, one so far. But I also like that she's a very moral, good character who's still trying to succeed. So keeping her, her values intact while trying to thrive and... and when in business with the Ewings is a tough thing. And Josh, you write and perform music also, mm -hmm. so can we expect maybe to hear some of your music in the background of Dallas? Or? Uh, it might happen, season two. Um, and, and, and if it happens, I'd be grateful. It'd be really cool for me because it is, it is half of what I love to do as an artist is, is write music and record. And, and so um, I've been talking to the show, and it's a potential possibility to have my music on the show at some point. So uh, I, would, uh, I, I wouldn't count it out. How do you deal with the fame of joining such a massive show that's were loved right across the world? You mean how do we deal with the pressure of that? Of, of, of going into such a oh. big show already? Well, it's such a blessing because I think with such a big show, there's a built-in audience who hopefully will join us. Um, and, you know, I think I think there there is pressure there because you don't want to disappoint the Forkies who are the diehard South Fork <laughs> Ewing fans. Um, but I think Cynthia Sidra has done a beautiful job of writing such a wonderful show. And yourself, John? Um, you know, I uh, I kind of just take each day by day and like try to continue to progress as the show goes and as people see it. And um, I, uh, I I was I'm excited about what it brings to my life because it, it definitely brings a spontaneity to my life and and, and fun. Because every day I leave, I never know who I'm going to run into because the fans of Dallas are extremely passionate and uh, and it's 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 really cool to see people out in public because they they feel very invested whether they were fans of the original or they didn't know the original, and now they're like in this new Dallas, and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so good. That's the reaction we get, so uh, it's very exciting. And if you were to sum up your character in three words, what would those three words be? Loyal, uh, passionate, and driven. Passionate is the word that I always use, so sorry. I'm going to use that one too. Do it. Take uh, it. Passionate, um, troubled, intense.